recently i have seen many people talk about jesus is coming they had the dream that jesus is coming but when i study them and look at their lifestyle but they still remain average even jesus told us the new world that is coming after his rapture the street is made of gold this few years ago i was among the category of people who are saying jesus is coming and never do anything about it yes we believe that jesus is coming soon but what are you going to do about the job you lost what are you going to do about the debt you own what are you going to do about the mortgage you need to pay even if you're expecting jesus is coming keep watching to discover the solution hello everyone my name is afalake janet oyelami two thousand years ago many people many israelites have been saying the messiah is coming messiah is coming and likewise today we have been hearing lots of people saying messiah is coming jesus is coming some people said they've had the dream that jesus is coming and for that reason they stop working they are preparing for jesus to come they stop dreaming again they're preparing for jesus to come and the bible made us to understand that my people perish because they lack wisdom some years back when i first gave my life to christ i also stopped dreaming because i was expecting jesus we come a few years ago but till now we are still expecting him what do you need to do as you are expecting him but before i continue into today's topic let me give the keyword that summarize today's topic the parable of the ten virgin is happening now. The COVID-19 is the trumpet that is sounding, warning to wake the ten virgin up. The five that are wise among the virgins are the ones who quickly adjusted their prayer life, increase their kindness, forgive others, invest more in their dreams. The five unwise virgins are the one who said this COVID-19 occurs 100 years ago too, so it's part of life. The unwise virgins then still remain in their comfort zone. They refuse to put more effort on their dream, which will make them to occupy till it comes. So the oil, which is their passion to dream big, went low be wise what are you doing now about jesus coming are you like the five wise virgin or are you like the five unwise virgin how will you pay your bill how will you pay your mortgage how will you pay off your debt and at the same time how are you going to occupy till it come for more understanding let me explain what occupy means occupy means you are busy with work you are occupied you are engaged i never know the meaning of this word occupy till i come when i first gave my life to christ the moment i had the story about rapture so i stopped dreaming i was expecting jesus to come I was expecting jesus rapture to take place but till today we are still waiting for the rapture this truth that i'm going to share with you today if i've known it long time ago i will have gone far i will have achieved a greater success more than what i've achieved today for example let's say when jesus was taken up to the sky in front of the disciples long time ago and he told them i am coming back be ready if the disciples had refused 
to go everywhere to preach about Jesus. None of us, we know who Jesus is today. But despite what Jesus told them to get ready for rapture, they still occupy, they still preach the gospel, they still work, they still pay bills, they still pay tax as they are preparing for his second coming. Let me go straight to the point. How do you occupy till he come and at the same time become successful on earth? Because the new world that we are expecting, the street is made of gold. So don't say because you are expecting the rapture, you stop working, you stop dreaming, you stop looking good. Sometimes ago, God gave me a prayer point which says, Lord, I want to enjoy how your kingdom look like in this world before the rapture takes place. So you can be preparing for rapture, you can become successful, you can dream big, you can encourage others to dream big and achieve their dreams at the same time. What you are doing, you are evangelizing by helping others to achieve their dreams. As they are achieving their dreams, you also, you are achieving your dreams and you are bringing more life to Christ. And at the same time, your mind is getting ready for rapture. If I have known this truth years ago, I would have achieved a greater success than today. But glory be to God that every experience leads us to a better place. You can prepare in this manner. Number one, your Facebook is another way of preparing for rapture. What you share on your Facebook that impacts many lives is a way of preparing for rapture. Let me tell you the truth. This Facebook app you see originates from God and it is in the mind of God to use it to reach everyone worldwide. So what you do with your Facebook is a way of preparing and occupying till Jesus come. Number two, your WhatsApp is a way of preparing for rapture. What you share on WhatsApp is a way of preparing for rapture. Number three, the book you wrote that impacts many lives is a way of preparing for rapture. Number four, the song you wrote that impacts many lives is also a way of preparing for rapture. If you are led to write a book, if you are led to write a song, don't be discouraged. Don't belittle yourself. Don't look down on yourself. Go for it. Maybe God wants that book he inspired you to write to touch only 100 people, only 1,000 people, only million people. It depends on the desire of God or what he asks you to do. Go for it. Don't look down on yourself. The fifth way of occupying till Jesus come is dreaming big and your passion is also a way of preparing for rapture. Maybe you have passion to become an artist. There is a reason why God put that in your mind. There is a reason why God put that in your heart. Or maybe you have passion to become a dancer. There is a reason why God put that in your mind. Maybe you have passion to become an accountant, a doctor. There is a reason why God put that in your mind. To save life around you. Any dream you have, any passion you have, is not for you alone. It's for someone out there. And that is a way of evangelizing. And that is a way of preparing for second coming. If you focus on your passion and on your dream, which originate from God, definitely God will continue to guide you. If God is guiding you on a daily basis, through your dream and through your passion, that shows that the oil of the Holy Spirit in you is burning. 
And when the Spirit is alive, then whenever the rapture takes place, you will be rapturable. So, in conclusion, occupy till he come through your Facebook, through your WhatsApp, through your passion, through your dream, through the book you wrote, through the song you wrote. These are all ways you can occupy till he come, which in return will make you to become successful. And when you become successful, you'll be able to pay your bills, buy house, pay off debt, and achieve any dreams you want to achieve in life. Be ready for rapture, but at the same time, occupy till it comes. Hope this impacts you. Speak to you soon. God bless.